What is going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video we are working with Mountains to Metal and their attic shelf for the rear cargo area of the 2021 and up Ford Bronco. One thing to note is it's actually in their description it says 2021 and a half and up and that's because for the first half of 2021 they did not include the nut certs on this roll bar. So on most, there's a nut cert here, nut cert here, and another nut cert there, which this shelf uses. So we're going to try to work around that and just drill some holes and put some nut certs in there ourselves and see how that goes. But yeah, if you don't feel like uh, drilling into your Bronco Make sure you have those before you order. I was well aware of the fact that I didn't have those. Uh, so, and Mountains Metal in their instructions and everything, they say make sure you have those holes. However, I like to do things the hard way, apparently. And the other challenge that we're going to have is that these upper brackets go up on top here, and that is where the tray gets mounted to. Now the problem with that is this best top uses the nut certs that are already in the Bronco to be mounted. So hopefully we have long enough bolts that we can unbolt this, slide the mountains and metal piece under there, and then we still have long enough bolts to get those all the way through. Well, I do have the larger speaker pods. I have the SSV uh, six and a half inch speaker pods, which Mountains to Metal does include, have two different ones of these shelves. One's if you have the larger speakers. So this inlet is going to be bigger. So you're going to have a little bit less cargo area, but it is going to clear those bigger speakers. And then they also have ones that, you know, come out a little bit wider that uh, if you do not have the larger speaker pods, no problem, then it'll just work with those. If you think you might ever possibly go to a larger speaker pod, I'd probably go ahead and get the large speaker pod ones. Now it will work with the smaller speaker pods and then you have room to grow so it seems fairly simple to install. Be much easier to install if you already have the nut certs. It's just a few pieces. You have the main shelf itself, um, which the locking hardware on here and everything is very beefy, very sturdy looking. So happy with that. Then you have these two bigger mounting plates that are going to go at the top. And then you have these arms and brackets that would normally just bolt in on here. So to start with, I'm just going to get these top brackets on and see, make sure that those are going to work with the best top top before we start drilling any holes. So let's go ahead and get up there. And You might not know it, but it has been a while since I started making this video. And uh, we're back at it. Now, I actually have the entire top off right now which has made this a lot easier. Uh, I believe where I left off on the video is I was trying to undo these brackets underneath the top. I had a stripped screw and I was having a hard time getting to it and uh, just wasn't feeling it. So I gave up, put everything back and kind of like, I knew this day was coming where I was going to go ahead and be taking the entire top off anyway. So figure I'd just wait till then and get it. And then the other, I, issue is i put everything into place and held the sh the uh shelf up and i think the slant of the best top may be a little bit too much where it was going to hit that i'm not 100 percent sure we got the top off now it's a little bit easier with the best top like i said you do have these clamps or these brackets here that use these holes I were doing it's not super thick so I'm pretty sure song if you put this 
into position and then set that on top everything would still work as far as that like i said i think the slant may cause a problem but uh we're leaving that off for right now because we have some other challenges with this first next one being that we don't even have the correct bolt holes but I believe for here we can just use these provided screws the basket itself has these holes here which are going to go onto those pegs now I got just one screw holding this in put this bracket in put that one in All right, so one thing I messed up on is I was supposed to use these bolts on the top, not the screws that I used. So I'll go ahead and swap those out. Um, and right now I just have these bars assembled. It's got a thumb screw and this, and this is what should line up to the, uh, the first hole on this, this side here. And then there's another hole in here. Now, that seems pretty low. I'm pretty sure this screw is supposed to be more in the center, but it does look like that can slide up some, so I should probably make sure that's good. And, but just getting it held in position. So right now, I said it's just got these clamps here. That are holding on uh, try to get things lined up where they're supposed to be so I can mark where things need to be drilled like if this is where it needs to be and that looks good as far as left to right uh, drill a hole there drill a hole there but I don't think we're quite in the right spot because yeah, I'm pretty sure that hole's not supposed to be that far down on the thing. So, um, I know I did see some measurements. I'm going to go look those up, see if I can't find those, and see where everything's supposed to get a better idea of where everything's supposed to be at, and kind of get everything worked out and into position there. Yeah, I'm going to sit here, fiddle with this, get everything lined up to where it looks right, Swap out these bolts. So I put these in here. It's supposed to put the silver ones up here. Actual bolts, so I'll swap those out. Fiddle with that a little bit and get the holes marked where we should drill. All right, so I found the following diagram. And so it's, this is if you're looking at the bar, that's the outside, this is the inside. And that's supposed to be over 15 and a half millimeters from the side. Um, that's easy enough to figure out. And we know that there's two holes and that they're 102 millimeters apart, but it doesn't give you any reference to anything else other than the holes on the side, which if you know where any of these holes are, then that would be great. The one thing it does tell me is but yeah, it is 57 millimeters down from the top. We are actually right right there. So I think we're close enough. It looks decent when everything's lined up. So just going to go for it. And uh, hopefully it works out. Uh, obviously, if there's some uh, wonkiness to this, I can't blame Mountains to Metal because they did say hey, if you don't have these holes, this won't work. So, and I'm, make, I'm the one making the holes off of kind of educated guesses <laughs> where they should go. But yeah, I was gonna drill out, I'll start here on the driver's side, drill out this hole, I already hit it with a punch. Well, 
drill out a pilot hole there and then go about Probably would have been a good idea to double check that first, but got lucky. I do have the actual nuts, right size nut insert that we need. Go ahead and insert our nut insert. All right, so hopefully we're good to go now. Drill a hole here. And then we'll make sure this side all fits together before we touch anything on this side. Got the nut certs in. Let's see if this works. And for the bottom, it has, it says, use these screws, then a metal washer here, then a nylon washer. And that should sit together. We'll go in down here. And then this other screen should go then you gotta make sure that this is pulled up and out of the way first. Otherwise, you'll never get it past the uh, bump stops or past the little rests. So let's try that again. Let's bring this up. Yeah. Obviously this side's drooping a little bit because it's not supported, but that seems like it'll work. Let's see. Pull that down and I'll rest on the stop. I have the other one over here. Should rest pretty even. And then snap up there out of the way. So yeah, uh, let me go ahead and start the fun process of drilling this side out and uh, I'll put the other bars on there. All right, so we got the nut certs in on this side now. Hopefully everything fits and lines up. So well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. And it seems we are off on this one a little bit. I don't know if it was just wasn't. There we go. Glad it was hitting back here, but it was just because the clasp is closed. So there we go. We have our attic shelf and put stuff up there. Now I can't put too tall of stuff because it's not a whole lot of space between here and the top, depending on the top that you have also. But I mean, it's nice to get some... Uh, tow stuff up there some gear that you like to have but don't necessarily want laying around everywhere getting in the way just tuck it up there so you always have it in case you need it so i'll go ahead and get everything tightened down everything's just kind of snug right now 
till I want to make sure everything fit. And then we go ahead, get everything snug down, clean up my tools, and go for a quick ri ride. Make sure it's not back there rattling around or anything. Went for a quick drive. I brought the camera, but not like you'd be able to hear anything with the wind and everything. These were blowing around and making some noise. I took them off, and then that was it. Hey, if you had to top one, they probably wouldn't make any noise. But just driving around slowly, they're blowing around and making a, a racket. So I'll leave those off for right now. But yeah. Maybe need to rep. Uh, see if that makes any noise i didn't hear anything when i was driving but that does just wrap some electrical tape around that post and that should probably still fit in there snug so i imagine that would work we'll find out but yeah all in all ha happy with it uh you know i i saw this originally super celebration Got it shortly after that when they released it, and uh, it's been sitting. I haven't gotten a chance to install it because I didn't want to tackle drilling these holes. Wasn't too bad. Getting the hole started is the the hard thing. Once I got actually was making a bite down into the the metal, and I could start using the step bit from there, it wasn't too bad. It's just getting far enough that the step it will, would bite but there you go if you have if you have a 2021 20, and a half and up bronco that's already got the nut certs on here the installation for this would be super simple even if you had the top on uh you know it made sense now that they use those those bolts up top because you can get a wrench or a ratchet in there, even if you, you know, have the top on and you can reach in there and do that. It'd be a little bit of a pain, but the top off, obviously, it's much easier. And then you wouldn't have to worry about trying to figure out how to line these up or anything like that. They just fall into place. So I think, yeah, if you have a 2021 and up, Bronco, then this is super simple installation. If you don't and you need to drill some holes, then be prepared for that. But it can be done. So I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. I'll go ahead and put a link uh, down in the description for the attic shelf and for other mountains to metal products. Been happy with the products I've seen. The only other product that I actually have installed on this Bronco is the amp rack which is tucked back up underneath the dash where i have my uh, kicker amp for the four speakers or six speakers tucked up under there that was in the audio they used during the audio installation which i think i did a video of if i did i'll post it up here um and then just this i know we did install the medicine cabinet and mats, and I've seen a lot of their products. I've talked to them a few times at different shows. They're great people, so I'm happy to get to install something else of theirs and check it out and help and support them. So yeah, I'll put a link down to their their stuff down below uh, if you want to check them out. And I think that'll go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, put a comment down there and tell me why. And if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.